I came into Modern Warfare 3 Zombies expecting this game to be a 5 out of 10 experience. And I'm going to be honest, that is exactly what I got. Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, this is going to be a complete review of the entirety of the game mode. Breaking down gameplay, story, easter eggs, and obviously, is it even worth the $70? So let's start off with the gameplay. I honestly didn't mind the gameplay. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what are you talking about? You're a round-based enjoyer. I get it. The thing is though is that i think the zombies gameplay was quite fine i think they managed to do that well the one thing i really can't stand though in zombies is other ai shooting back at me especially the mercenaries in this game mode they are way too overpowered and the fact that they can just rip through your armor and you can down without even knowing where you're getting shot to me is one of the dumbest things to be ever added into zombies and i really hope they do remove that however this mode did add a lot of interest interesting new things like third person in zombies actually works and i think it should be a staple in every zombies mode because of the fact that they give us rewards like operator skins and why do i care about an operator if i can only see its hands but now finally in third person mode it makes sense to actually buy operator bundles in my opinion and i honestly just think in general rewards for easter eggs that they have in this game should not be actual operator bundles but gun skins like cool mastercrafts on the weapons to me are way more cooler than just some random operator because of the fact that i know that they won't be adding any sort of story to that operator i also have to say this game mode if you are starting this up is a 100 co-op based game mode until you find all the schematics and acquisitions that you need to spawn in with like pack bunch weapons and perks and higher rarity guns because i'm telling you if you're starting this off solo by yourself good freaking luck i always try and run with a squad while i play this mode even if unless i'm farming for camos that's the only reason why i would play solo but my goodness if you are starting this off by yourself it is just impossible. The AI will instantly delete you when you only have one plate of armor. It is absolutely egregious. But I do have to say, the game loop for getting yourself progressioned up to this ultimate soldier is really well done in MW3 Zombies. Like, it does grasp the DMZ game cycle loop very well because of the fact that this is pretty much just Modern Warfare 3 DMZ with zombies. And I like that you can go from being a one-plated, idiot with three plates a full large backpack to carry everything which honestly should be a lot bigger your rucksack should be way bigger uh you can get all these different rarity tools you can get the upgraded weapons however i do have a qualm with tier three in the middle of the map they have tier three where zombies are running at mach one speeds trying to take you out and honestly half the time i find tier three not even to be worth it like sure the best loot can spawn there but bro you can play games where you're grinding like 30 contracts and just get absolutely nothing and i might as well add that the contracts in this game are probably the best part of the gameplay loop like that's going to be the first thing you do right when you spawn in you're going to grab your gun spawn in and go right for contracts and i think that gameplay loop is really good it makes you really learn the warzone map and you can like fast travel around the map with like some of the cool side easter eggs so like that gameplay loop they absolutely nailed and i'm going to give them props for that however there's just a lot of things in this mode that i can see was truly built for casuals because my goodness they added both the modern warfare three and the mw2 guns in this game mode and there are way too many guns in general like the camo grind is insane there's four mastery camos in this you have the modern warfare 2 mp mastery then the dmz modern warfare 2 mastery then the modern warfare 3 mp mastery and then modern warfare 3 zombies on top of that like it is ridiculous they want you to grind this mode and that is the epitome of what this game mode is it is the ultimate grinding mode and i I do have to say that a lot of the content that they've put in this game feels like fluff especially like the loot bro half the common loot is literally not even worth picking up if it's not blue or a turret chip or a perk or something just incredible it's literally not even worth picking up and that is something they absolutely need to fix right now loot is completely just a 
waste of your time and half the time you don't even want to loot the map unless you're looking for something like turret chips to grind the story mission that I'm on. And so honestly, I think there is difficulty within this mode. However, it's not the same difficulty that you get out of round base where you're actually putting in so much time into a game to get to the highest round like no other zombies game mode, no other game mode I find ever has ever replicated the type of difficulty progression that round-based zombies has originally. That game mode has some insane difficulty, and what makes it so unique is that every zombies map has a different spice to how difficult it is. Like on Dreisendrak, you have the Panzers. On Zets Bonoshima, you have the Thrashers. But what do you have in Modern Warfare 3 zombies? Basically, the only difficulty is you're confined into too small of an area, or you're getting absolutely obliterated by the AI that are shooting at you. I found like those are really the two main things that I get 100% bullied by and it's just not the same difficulty spike and it's definitely not fun to play around don't get me wrong and I do have to say I do like this game mode more than Outbreak but to be honest I don't see how or why they couldn't have just added in a round limit. To me, adding in the time limit is one of the biggest mistakes of this game mode. And I have to say, the time limit needs to go. If they are going to bring back DMZ zombies like this, get rid of the time limit. The fact that you only have 45 minutes to play each and every single game, and then at the last 15 minutes, the storm starts moving and you're about to get bullied, is absolutely stupid. You cannot get set up fast enough. Like, to get into the tier 3 zone even if you bring in your best schematics where you're spawning in like a legendary rarity gun and a tier 2 pack a punch you are practically never going to get to that point like it just takes so long and by the time you're already set up you got a freaking exfil and that is the dumbest gameplay loop i think i've ever seen within this game mode the fact that like you have to literally just restart your progress is ridiculous to me and that is what inflates the game time it's artificial inflation with the game time and i personally cannot stand it i think it is just one of the dumbest things i did not like the time limit in cold war with the outbreak boss fight even though that outbreak easter egg was really good i won't lie but it just needs to go in this mode i find at least just give us double the time 45 minutes feels way too slow especially when you're trying to grind out story missions like bro story missions i think were a really good idea but bad in execution i think a lot of the missions that they try and make you do where you're like trying to get aat kills or get precision airstrike on this random convoy to me is just really dumb it doesn't really add anything to the gameplay it just kind of makes it really not that fun however i do have to say i like the addition of the kill streaks like they got from cold war it was really good i like the way that they added these turrets that like the additions that they did to make this game really fun were good like i like the turret however story missions just need to be brought down a little bit more they need to be made to the point where it's actually fun to do them and you can grind multiple of them through a game i know right now that's just the glitch but they just need to make it where it's actually just way more enjoyable for you to play and so honestly i would not mind if the story missions are there but i don't want them to gate you out of certain content i think that's one of my biggest pet peeves right now with the game mode is that it gates you out of certain content and that should not be the case like i said there's a lot of things that are fun in this game mode like contracts and stuff but there's a lot of things that aren't that great like i said like daily challenges right at the menu you can choose daily challenges to unlock certain weapons and if you're trying to do the camel grind which is also just not that fun on this game because there's so many freaking weapons to do you're gonna have to be unlocking some random weapon to level seven to get an attachment on this rocket launcher or on this grenade it's just ridiculous and then all the weapon levels also are just completely out of whack they just make you grind like six levels for a grenade launcher then 29 for an assault rifle like the progression needs to be honed down and i think that could be solved even within the patches of this game but as of right now it feels like they're just completely is it nothing like i don't mind daily challenges but don't make it the only way for me to unlock a certain weapon and 
The one thing that this game mode added, which I really like, are schematics and acquisitions. Schematics are basically things that you can craft. So you can even craft a ray gun or a wonder waff if you find those schematics in game. And then acquisitions are basically just the things that you create from schematics. So I can bring like a uh, a juggernaug schematic and drink that right when I spawn in, or a quick revive one, or a speed cola one, which is just really nice. I think that's the whole point of this game mode to progressively get better. However, I I do think that grind at the initial bit is too difficult for casual players and I can only really see casual players hopping onto this game mode not because the game mode is fun and replayable in and of itself but because of the fact that it's the fastest way to get XP and weapon XP and that is what I'm afraid zombies is turning into towards a gameplay standpoint. It is literally losing, diluting its complete identity to become a literal XP grind mode and that is what i am extremely nervous about because that is not what zombies is about the replayability loop of zombies should be fun enough for you to play without wanting you to just grind weapon xp and camo xp that is something that i really hope does not stay in the game mode and they actually create a new gameplay loop to get players into the game and for the fact like I think there's a lot of dumb aspects with the gameplay loop that they have right now, like loadouts. Like half the time, unless you're coming in to grind weapon XP like you're seeing on the screen right now, I just find that grinding this half the time, you're gonna wanna just run two weapons. But if you're actually playing, most of the time you're gonna want to run your fists because your other weapon is just so heavy. And I think that kind of aspect is just what's ruining zombies. Like that is such a multiplayer type of loadout idea that we just don't need that in this game mode just leave run speed the exact same don't make me get stamina up just to play the map and run around it takes so long to run around in general and like listen i don't mind the vehicles in this game mode i think they're done way better than outbreak however i do think that they just need to have more of them or just faster i feel like everything in this game is just too slow in comparison to black ops 3 and so one thing i also hope is that dmz sort of became pay to win at the end of this life cycle i can already see with the way that this game mode is going it's going to fully become pay to win this game mode is going to become pay to win by the end of the game life cycle come back and quote me on this quote i'm telling you one thing i'm also scared about this game mode is that this will never leave because multiplayer and warzone fans are playing this because of the xp grind i'm scared that this will just never change and this will end up becoming the identity of call of duty zombies and that could not be more so than the worst case scenario possible like that is what will completely destroy cod zombies is one day having this be the main mode and listen i know people are like well why don't they just do this in round base the thing is though is i remember talking to jason Blendell at the zombies chronicles event all the way back in black ops 3 and this dude said that he would be able to balance the chaos storyline and the ether storyline and he was telling this the zombie youtubers this back in black ops 3 and as you guys know with vo4 that completely failed and so what that means is that they can't juggle a round base mode and an objective based mode like this which gets me so unbelievably horrified for what they're about to do with this game mode is this game mode going to be literally the epitome of what call of duty zombies becomes where it's just warzone tack map multiplayer style gameplay loadouts like that is what's going to kill me at the end of the day, because you can see that a lot of this is becoming more so like multiplayer rather than what we were introduced into BO3 zombies. And so that also is, I think, where the marketing is kind of getting a lot of OG round base fans upset because I'm going to be honest, half the marketing for this zombies mode was just not catered to round base fans, number one. And then number two, half of it was just lying. They said this was going to be the largest zombies map to date, which I guess it is. However, they said that you would be playing with 24 players. And half the time, bro, I never even see half the players in the lobby in these games. Like, I'm always playing with three players. And I think that's just the biggest issue is that there's no content where it's fun on co-op and how is that even going to be possible when you're playing a game like this man we have 24 players like there's not even speed runs to speed run in this there's no high rounds there's no speed runs and you can see how instantly they're attracting so much content that the community has already gotten used to over the past years and honestly 
I hope that they continue with this game mode. I, I can see it coming into COD 2024. Like, I'm almost certain Outbreak or this game mode is going to be in COD 2024. I just hope that they grab the community's ideas and decide to make this game mode better. Because it really does deserve to be better. And I think with a couple fine-tuning and just with, like, more interesting POIs, like a better map, a zombies base map, something like Ve Victus from the Custom Zombies Workshop that just came out. Something with, like... Man, Man, like the transit like something with the transit farm and like the die rise towers just iconic things that people know people will love that so much more like if this game mode was released on the blackout zombies map my goodness it would have done numbers boys i'm telling you if this came out with bo4 people would have ate this up and you know bo4 treyarch would have done some amazing objectives for you to do on the blackout map like half the blackout map in and of itself was transit die rise and bury man they were gonna do the remasters on that game like it's all there but ladies and gentlemen that's it for gameplay honestly i would give it a five out of ten i came in with that expectation expectation and i came out with it as well because of the fact that literally this is modern warfare dmz with zombies now let's talk about the story and i'm gonna be quick with this to be honest there is no story <laughs> like there really is no story that's actually that interesting and i hate to say this but i think that vanguard has a better story than this game i think this game this game's story is really just not that interesting. It's basically them trying to set up a new Samantha Maxis, but for the Modern Warfare Zombies universe. And I personally just don't think that that's interesting. The new characters also are completely shoehorned in. Like, bro, why is Soap in this game? Soap has absolutely no point to be here. His lines are completely pointless. Like, at the end of this story mission, there's a cutscene with Soap that is just absolutely stupid. Like, why is he even in this game? I don't get it, man. Like, the, the, the lore and thought was more present in Vanguard than it was in this game. So, honestly, I'm gonna give the story in this game, like, a flat-out zero. Like, I actually think it's detracting from what was already set in place. And to be honest, like... You look at the screen right now, the artistic design of this game mode is pretty bad. Like, it's literally, like I said, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 with zombies. There's literally no extra polish with this game mode. And also, there's a surprising lack of color in this game mode outside of, like, the Pack-A-Punch camos. And then that's pretty much it. And listen, I know a lot of people are saying, bro, they didn't have a lot of color either in World at War. But, bro, go back to World at War. And you can see that the colors are way more differentiated and contrasted than in this game mode. There's something about this modern warfare engine that just dulls out the colors. I really just do not like it whatsoever. It just looks really bad. And honestly, I think one of the worst problems with this game is that you're spending half the time doing contracts, but contracts literally provide you with zero story that's even worth listening to. And I think that's the biggest issue is that the storytelling method is just by playing some random radio character on the side of your screen. And I just don't care. Like, it's always just these, like, generic soldier quotes that are just needing to be fixed. And this is the problem. When we're playing as operators, the people that are really the side characters in the main story that's presented, I don't think that will ever be fixed unless we get out of the operator system. It really goes to show that operators do not help and are not good for the longevity of this game mode. But... I will also have to say that X-Fills also ruin the storytelling. Sure, they're great for gameplay, but the problem is, is that every story beat I find in this game is like, we gotta get to the X-Fill. We gotta take out Zakhaev and then hit the X-Fill. We gotta hit, take out the giant worm boss and then throw up into the, uh, throw on into the helicopter in the X-Fill. And it's just like, bro, X-Fill should not even be a main story beat like the way the story should actually go is that we should be so invested that the exfil should not even be a main gimmick of the story and that's what i'm saying like this feels more of like a warzone campaign like mw3's campaign than an actual zombies based story and honestly it's weird because the debut trailer for modern warfare 3 zombies to me has still left been it's been completely unexplained i really don't know what the heck happened to gray weaver or strauss like they're shown up for a little bit in the cutscenes, but it just 
it just feels so disjointed and just so unbelievably mid. And I just think that unless we get zombies assets back, like what we had in Vay Victus with like the Call of the Dead Lighthouse and all that, and radio storytelling is just sort of shafted to the side and not make it secret, but just make it more enjoyable, man. The Like when the characters talk, I should want to listen. It should not be that like I'm trying to drown them out because I want to focus on the actual gameplay of the mode. I think that is one of the worst aspects of this game mode with the story. And so I'm gonna be honest, story in this game, worse than Vanguard, literally zero out of 10 story. I can't even lie. But boys, let's get now into the Easter eggs. Let's be short with this. There's no main Easter egg. Okay, the side Easter eggs though, I do have to say are probably some of the best that we've seen since Cold War or even Black Ops 4. I think Black Ops 4 probably has the best side Easter eggs in any zombies mode, but the side Easter eggs are great. Like the friendly dog, amazing side Easter egg. Uh, like the free perks that you can get, amazing side Easter eggs. Side Easter eggs should be short, but you should want to do them and they should be interesting, right? Like when we look back at Cold War, like the D-Machine Coffin Dance Easter egg, that is just so iconic. Everybody remembers it and you get a free Juggernaut for it. So it's obviously going to be good. And I'm going to be honest, I think the side Easter eggs are very good, but I do have to say just having no main quest takes out so much content that the community has already been known for, like speed running and also high rounding. And it's just like, man, they need to add more with the Easter eggs with that. And just the lack of speed runs make this mode so dead. And also the fact that this is an online only mode is going to be really bad. Like as soon as the hackers get into the servers, I have a feeling this game is not going to last at least more so than two years there's just no shot and i do have to say though on the positive side we could get an update with an easter egg like outbreaks easter egg because outbreaks easter egg was quite fun and did add a really good boss fight i just want them to do more of that and we do know that for season one they're going to be adding these dark ether rifts which add more end game content so i could imagine that that will be fixed so if you are a grinding player there will be things to find afterwards which are going to be quite fun but it's don't get me wrong this is nothing like the detailed hunts of the old days those are 100 dead and i also have to be honest the bosses and a lot of the special enemies are just a straight up copy and paste from cold war like you can literally take any of the bosses from any of the last five call of duties put them in any other order and you could not tell the difference like all the zombies here are from cold war and i think it's kind of getting old at this point and i gotta be honest man the integration with campaign and having that as the story be is just so bad. I am not a fan of introducing campaign with zombies. I just didn't even like it in Cold War, like Kravchenko and Cold War. I just did not care. And I think that campaign just needs to be its own separate thing. Do not try and mix campaign with zombies. Do not try and mix DMZ with zombies. Just keep it its own thing. Like, I could see with COD 2024, they're going to do round based and this casual mode to allow XP grinders to really go hard. I think that's fine, but just don't intermingle the story, man. I will have to say, though, the cutscenes are pretty good quality. Like, they're definitely better than Vanguard, but the story is so hollow, it's unbelievable. Like, you just don't even want to even try and care and like i said it doesn't need old tie-ins because let's look at a map like mob of the dead bro we didn't know anybody on that map but the story beats of that map were so strong were so good that everybody remembers the, those iconic four prisoners everybody wants to learn about it bro that map had an exfil and they didn't even talk about it i'm not even gonna lie bro that's what I mean. The story needs to be the main focus for us to get that. And you can see that there is no story and no artistic direction in this. And I'm going to be honest, the ending of this game is very confusing. We basically have another Samantha Maxis, like I said. I still don't really know what's going on with the seasonal content. So are we spending half the seasonal content just hunting for Zakaev and then that's it? Like, it just feels like the seasonal content is going to be dragged through the mud it's going to be spread so thin it just doesn't make any sense as to why we should just even wait like if you're a cod zombies round base fan just get cod 2024 at this point and honestly nobody wants to look for easter eggs when the premise itself is not interesting and that is the bottom line and so ladies and gentlemen now we are in the final section of this video is this game 
worth $70? That is the main question. That is the main thing. And I have to be honest. My ultimate answer for is this game worth $70? My ultimate answer is no. Unless you are a Call of Duty player willing to drop over 100 hours into zombies, I cannot with a good conscience actually recommend this game because it is not a game mode you can just pop right in, pop right out and enjoy. You're going to be playing this casually, but it's chilled out casual and you're not going to get what you want until like 40, 50 hours into the game. And I feel like that is not why you should be playing zombies. You should not be playing to find the best loot. You should be playing because the loop, the gameplay loop itself should be that enjoyable. Like, look at why people play Nocturne Toten in 2023. They don't play because there's some crazy wonder weapon that you get on the map. It's because the gameplay loop of that map is already so exciting, even though it's literally the first zombies map ever made. That is the power of round base. Being limited actually provides you more in a lot of ways. And so, like I said, it's not worth $70 because it's a 40 hour grind for missions, which a lot of them are very easy and you're going to have to cheese half them, which is something I just don't like. If it's a mission, I should want to do it. It's it shouldn't be something that I'm dreading to do and having to spend a whole game trying to do. And I think they really need to make sure that the missions are fun for COD 2024. I think the camel grind is also boring. I don't, I haven't enjoyed a camel grind since Cold War with the D machine strat. So again, also with the limited amount of zombies and then patching the X fill glitch with like hundreds of zombie spawning, it just makes it a complete joke for you to even want to do it. And so I would just not recommend it at all. I find the gameplay is not iconic. I'm telling you, once COD 2024 comes out, this game is going to be instantly forgotten. It is a complete filler game. It is not solo friendly. And like I said, this is a casual mode marketed for casual fans for XP grinding. Hardcore round-based Easter egg high round enjoyers will not like this mode because it just isn't what you've been playing for for the last couple of years. This is the best part of Modern Warfare 3 because the campaign is probably the worst out of any COD and definitely the worst rated. And the MP is just Modern Warfare 2 maps with skill-based matchmaking, which I just am not really fan of with the modern engine. But I gotta be honest, I cannot recommend this game unless you are looking for a grind. And round base is still better than Modern Warfare 3 Zombies by far. However, I do think this mode is better than Outbreak. I would actually see you playing this mode more than Outbreak. There's definitely more of an incentive to play it, but it's definitely not as bad as Vanguard. Like there is something to at least play in this game. It's not like they gave us Duron Fong and just said, enjoy. There's actually camos, there's wonder weapons, there's things to do. Like there is things to do if you're interested in zombies. And so if you, like I said, if you're interested, you want to grind, you have all the time in the world, go ahead. But as a casual fan, like if you played Shadows of Evil like four times total and you loved it, but you're looking for that same experience here, I just can't recommend it unless you are out here playing MP and Modern Warfare 2's other or Modern Warfare 3's other game modes. And so I definitely played this mode over the worst round based zombies maps. I can absolutely agree with that. However, it's kind of like everything else with modern zombies, like with Cold War and everything. It's pretty much just mid.